So the studies have shown that Omicron has a quicker onset from exposure to time of symptom onset, and then uh, the decrease in the viral load decreases quicker after you start having symptoms. And so it's kind of a shorter course of illness for many people than, say, Delta or previous ones. Thus, the CDC has shortened the time of isolation down from 10 days, which it's been for the last two years, down to five days in most cases. So as long as you're feeling better, uh, you don't have a fever, your symptoms are on their way to resolution, you can stop isolating after day five and then just continue to wear a mask for the next five days. So if you're a COVID positive individual, you should be wearing a mask around anybody, including family members, if at all possible. If you're quarantining because you've been exposed to somebody, similarly, the best advice is to wear a mask in all situations as you're waiting to see if you're going to catch it or not. Because if you don't wear a mask, say, around family members and you do end up catching it and turning positive, then all of a sudden those family members are also going to have to go into quarantine. Whereas if you were masking, uh, that might not be considered a, a full exposure at that point. So the good news about all of these shortened length of durations is that we're getting people back to work sooner. In the pediatric population, that means we're getting them back to school sooner. And so if they're testing positive, then they're going to get back to school after that five days if they're improving. We all know school is critically important, so the sooner we can get folks back, the better. Same sort of thing if they're vaccinated uh, children, which all children age five and above are strongly encouraged to get vaccinated at this point, so all school-age children pretty much. Um, if they do have a close exposure and they've been vaccinated, they don't have to exclude from school under quarantine in that situation as long as they remain asymptomatic. The other point that's probably worth mentioning that's really kind of a confusing point even for the physicians right now because it's changed so much back and forth is the, whether or not to test at that day five point. And I think ideally in a perfect world, we would like to get that test at, at day five. Unfortunately, we just don't have the testing capabilities to do that for everybody right now. And so the CDC has said when testing is in limited supplies, which it is right, right now, then you can go ahead and go off of your symptoms or lack thereof to end your isolation or your quarantine. And so that's pretty much what we're rec recommending at this point until the demand for tests has calmed down a little bit and, and it's a little bit easier to get a test.